can supersonic flight really make a comeback, or is it just a fleeting dream? What lessons can Boom Supersonic learn from the rise and fall of Concorde? And how is Overture planning to tackle the challenges that grounded its predecessor? Stick around as we explore the exciting world of supersonic travel, comparing the legendary Concorde with the innovative Overture, and uncovering whether the future of flying at twice the speed of sound is finally within reach. Let's get started. Imagine this. You're flying across the Atlantic at nearly twice the speed of sound. This was once a reality with the Concorde, the rock star of supersonic passenger travel. Now, a new kid on the block, Boom Supersonic's Overture, is looking to take flight and revive the thrill of supersonic travel. Ah, the Concorde. It was the diva of the skies known for its sleek design and jaw-dropping speed. Launched in 1976, this beauty could fly at a speed of about Mach 2, or roughly 1,354 miles per hour, or 2,180 kilometers per hour. Talk about jet-setting in style. Celebrities like John Lennon and the cast of The Avengers were among its elite clientele, making it the ultimate status symbol. But let's face it, being a rock star isn't all glitz and glam. Despite its allure, Concord faced some serious challenges. One major hiccup was the sonic boom, a loud noise produced when an aircraft breaks the sound barrier. Most countries banned overland supersonic flights due to noise pollution, which meant Concorde could only strut its stuff over oceans. This limited its routes primarily to transatlantic flights, making it feel a bit like a celebrity stuck in a small town venue. And then there were the operational costs. Maintaining a Concorde burned a hole in the wallet, with ticket prices often exceeding $20,000 for a round trip. Only the wealthiest could afford to fly, which made it feel more like an exclusive club than a viable travel option. Plus, as environmental concerns grew in the early 2000s, many began to question the sustainability of such a fuel-hungry aircraft. Ultimately, after a tragic crash in 2000 and declining passenger numbers, Concorde was retired in 2003. The dream of supersonic travel seemed to fade away, leaving many to wonder if we'd ever see a revival. Fast forward to today, and we have Boom Supersonic's Overture, ready to take the stage. But how does it stack up against the legendary Concorde? Spoiler alert! It's got some serious upgrades. First off, Overture is designed with modern technology in mind. While Concorde was built using 1960s tech, Overture is all about cutting-edge aerodynamics and materials. This aircraft will be constructed primarily from carbon fiber composites, making it lighter and stronger. In fact, Overture aims to be 30% more fuel-efficient than Concorde. That's right, less fuel consumption means more cash in the pockets of airlines and passengers alike. But wait, there's more! Overture is equipped with advanced avionics. It features an augmented reality vision system that uses nose-mounted cameras to give pilots enhanced visibility during takeoff and landing. This tech is a far cry from the traditional cockpit setup of Concorde, which relied on older instruments and gauges. Imagine flying with a video game-like interface. Talk about a futuristic experience. And let's not forget the engines. While Concorde roared through the skies with four Rolls-Royce T-Snecma Olympus 593 engines, Overture is set to utilize its own Symphony engines, which are still in development. These engines are designed to be more efficient and environmentally friendly, aiming to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF. This is a significant shift considering Concorde's notorious carbon footprint. Speaking of the environment, let's dive into one of the biggest hurdles Concorde faced, its impact on Mother Earth. Concorde was often criticized for its high fuel consumption and the noise pollution generated by its sonic boom. It was estimated that Concorde burned around 25% more fuel per passenger than a subsonic aircraft contributing to its negative environmental image. Not exactly the eco-warrior role model. Enter Overture, which is making strides to address these concerns head-on. The aircraft is designed to be powered by sustainable aviation fuel, a game-changing approach that could significantly reduce its carbon footprint. According to Boom Supersonic, using SAF could cut life-cycle greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80%. That's a huge leap toward making supersonic travel more eco-friendly. But wait, there's more good news. Boom is tackling the sonic boom issue with innovative technology. Traditional sonic booms can be disruptive, 
but Boom is researching ways to minimize this effect. They aim to develop a quieter supersonic flight profile, potentially allowing Overture to fly over land without the same noise restrictions that plagued Concorde. Imagine flying from New York to Los Angeles in just a few hours, without waking up half the country. Let's break down the money side of things. One big reason Concorde had a tough time was because it was super expensive to operate. Ticket prices often hit around $20,000, which meant only a select few could afford to fly on it. Now Boom Supersonic is taking a different route with Overture. They're aiming to offer more affordable tickets, with prices around $5,000 for a round trip. This move could attract a wider audience, especially business travelers who want speed but don't want to empty their wallets like they would have to for Concorde. Plus, Overture is designed to carry between 64 to 80 passengers, while Concorde could seat about 100. It might sound like a smaller crowd, but the focus is on making routes more efficient and profitable. Boom has spotted over 600 potential routes where Overture could thrive, mainly for long-distance flights over oceans. This smart planning could help Overture succeed financially in ways Concorde couldn't. Now, what's the buzz about supersonic travel today? Back in the day, flying that fast was a luxury that only a few could enjoy. But things are changing. Recent surveys show that a staggering 97% of premium passengers worldwide are interested in flying on a supersonic plane for long-haul trips. That's a huge jump from just 81% in 2021. Boom Supersonic is counting on this growing interest. They've already snagged 130 pre-orders from big airlines like American Airlines and United Airlines, which shows there's confidence in the market for supersonic travel. As the world becomes more connected, the need for quicker travel options is more important than ever. And let's not forget about movies like Top Gun Maverick, which have sparked a renewed excitement for flying. As people start traveling again after the pandemic, the idea of jumping on a supersonic flight could become the next big thing, especially for business folks who want to make the most of their time. Who wouldn't want to show up to a meeting feeling fresh instead of like they just survived a marathon flight? Even with all the buzz around Overture, there are still some big hurdles to jump over. Concorde had to deal with strict rules about flying over land at supersonic speeds because of noise pollution. Boom is working on ways to lessen the impact of sonic booms, but they still have to navigate the tricky world of aviation regulations. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, and other regulatory bodies will be key players in deciding if Overture can fly in different airspaces. But there is a silver lining. With more focus on sustainable aviation and new technologies, regulators might be more open to talking about the future of supersonic travel. Plus, Boom isn't the only game in town. Companies like Hermaeus and Exosonic are also working on their own supersonic planes. This competition could spark innovation and help speed up advancements in technology and regulations. After all, competition can really push people to do better. Just ask any sibling. So, what's next for supersonic travel? If Stick Boom Supersonic can tackle the challenges in its path, we might be on the brink of a new era in flying. With tech improvements, rising passenger interest, and a focus on being eco-friendly, Overture could shake things up in the aviation world. While Concorde was a magnificent aircraft that eventually had to land, Overture is gearing up to take off, learning valuable lessons from the past. With its innovative design, commitment to sustainability, and a growing demand for speed, Boom Supersonic might just be the answer to our supersonic dreams. What do you think? Will Boom Overture succeed in bringing back supersonic travel? Are you excited to fly faster than ever before? Share your thoughts in the comments below.